It's the final day at the Police Academy for an anchor and a reporter right here at TV20. And so far, each have shown strengths in at least a couple of areas. And tonight, TV20's Josh Rosenthal tells us how well Amanda Decker and Erica Rodriguez can clear out a building without shooting an unarmed person. And we'll find out who becomes TV20's top cop. It's the last round of tests for these two journalists as they go through Police Academy to see which one will make it as TV20's top cop. So far, they've mastered several skills from patrol car driving to surviving an obstacle course. I'm really out of shape. Now, it's time to see how they react in emergency situations. Starting with CPR training, TV20 anchor Amanda Decker and reporter Erica Rodriguez are learning just how demanding a deputy's job can be. You want to keep that blood circulating um, to the vital organs and um, keep them all going until EMS can get there. You're going to do a head tilt chin lift. Okay. So there you go, just like that. Look, listen, and feel for at least five seconds, no more than 10. Nope, nothing. Nothing. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to do two rescue breaths. So you're going to find your hand placement, center of the chest. Both okay, hands. both hands. Now, one thing I forgot to mention when we were over there earlier is you want to your shoulders over the person, okay, and you want to use your body weight to do the chest compressions. All right, so go ahead, and you're going to do 30 compressions. One and a half. One. Two yep, you got to hear it click. Push hard, push fast. They'll also test their quick thinking skills in building clearing. That's where deputies go into a building and find people like these. Deputies often have just a split second to make a life or death decision. Good guy or bad guy. The consequences can be fatal. In this case, the suspects are posters. Amanda and Erica will have to make sure they take down the right people. And, of course, try not to shoot the wrong ones. Sheriff's office, get on the ground. She kind of looked at her targets and she fired and she wanted to look back to try to find out what was going on. All right, so what? Tell them, keep telling yes. them to get on the ground. Get on, get the, on ground. the ground. What, get on the ground. What else do you see? Tell me what else you see. Obviously, with using paper targets, things aren't going to change. In real life, things are going to change. So we don't want to take our eyes off our threat area because things can change in a split second. All right. <laughs> I just looked at the guy with the gun and then saw the cell phone. Sheriff's office, get on the ground. Did I hit him? I do have to say Erica looked a little bit harder at her target. Drop the knife. All right, he dropped the knife, so he's complied. Okay. All right. I was definitely seeing what she was seeing and then reacting. In the competition to see who's TV20's top cop, Amanda won in the driving and obstacle courses, and she proved stronger in handling the baton. Erica, on the other hand, mastered takedowns and paid more attention to her surroundings during building clearing. Still, that leaves Amanda in the lead, making her TV20's top cop. Alachua County Sheriff Sadie Darnell swore both of them in as wannabe deputy sheriffs. Erica went back to her usual reporter ways, asking Darnell what she thought about the competition. I think sometimes you get just a, a snippet of what we do and may not have a, a good overall understanding of the requirements that have to be met up to the point of being hired on and then what responsibility and authority that the deputies have once they uh, are solo and, and out you know, in the field and in the community making the decisions that they do. I think it gives you a better appreciation of the commitment and dedication that it takes. Wrapping up an experience that these two journalists say they'll never forget. You know, I've been hearing from a lot of people who said they didn't realize the full extent of the training that, that people have to go through, and this is a good way to find that out. And they did a great job, especially, I can just keep thinking of Erica back stuck on the fence, though. <laughs> How do I get down? How do I get down? And one thing we learned about Erica in the CPR training, because we got the close-up of her hand, she has a really big ring on her finger. Yes, she does. <laughs> oh, the weekend.